Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. We already knew each other. My name is Jamie, and if you've been waiting patiently for iPad OS to get a Mac OS makeover, I think we're going to be waiting quite a while. But fortunately, I have a solution that will work for you. And no, I know what you're thinking. It is not Sidecar. Of course, I'm talking about the Luna Display. So if you're ready, let's get started. And of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome. YouTube always tells me that 97% of you guys watching aren't subscribed. So chances are you stumbled across this video as a result of a YouTube search or a Google search. And if you did, that's okay, but please consider subscribing or at the very least like the video because it really does help a whole heck of a lot. Now, the setup is super quick and easy and it will work on any Mac Mini, iMac, and even a MacBook. But you will need some sort of a Mac in order for this to work. I'll link one of my older videos right up here and it kind of walks you through the system requirements and some of the specs, but once you have those up and running, it's totally easy to do so. And again, this is not sidecar. You're able to touch the iPad and move files around, which you cannot normally do with sidecar. So you are able to use the full functionality of your touchscreen and able to access Mac exclusive apps that you normally won't be able to do on iPad like Final Cut Pro and edit your videos on your iPad. So if you really are intending to use your iPad as your main Mac OS device, just ensure that your Luna display is properly set up and plugged in on either your Mac Mini or your MacBook and then just ensure that your MacBook is plugged into power and then just simply close the lid and it will completely transition to the iPad. Very similar for the Mac Mini if you are intending to use your iPad as your main Mac Mini display uh, for whatever reason. You just simply need to unplug your monitor and then all of it goes directly onto your iPad. So this is really good if you do intend um, to move throughout your home. Uh, if you do really only have a Mac Mini and an iPad and don't necessarily have a MacBook, this is your one stop shop solution and it's so good. And then that's really all there is to it. This also works on your M1 Mac, so if you do have one of those, this will work for you. Uh, if you have two iMacs for whatever reason, you are able to pair the two together so you have dual screen displays. Uh, or if you have an older iMac like the guy behind me and no longer supports Sidecar, then you're still able to use the solution. And again, it's so much better because you don't have to rely on the Apple Pencil to make any adjustments on your screen. You can just literally just use your finger to open up any apps. And as soon as you're done with the Luna display and you want to just go back to your iPad, just simply swipe up like you would on any app, and then there you are. And if you want to go back to Mac OS, just simply swipe up, you hold, and just open up the Luna display again. If you are using the Magic Keyboard or any sort of trackpad, it's that three little finger swipe up to get the job done. And that's about it guys. The Luna Display makes Mac OS on your iPad such a smooth experience. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please consider using the links down below in the description to grab your own Luna Display. And if you did happen to pick one up for one of my older videos, please drop by the comments and let us know how it's working for you. I'm sure the people watching this video uh, would wanna know, and I definitely wanna know as well. And I think that's about it. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Don't forget to like the video. And of course, of course, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, yeah, that's it. Until next time, guys. See ya.